Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Cecilia from Scientist Plans and in this video I'm gonna be showing you my new personal rings organizer from Filofax. The name of this planner is the Croc Silver Mist and the color of this ring binder is a bit of a mystery. To me, it looks like a um, super light gray and blue thing, but I put up a couple questions on my Instagram when I got it and some people would see it more like white and gray but to me it's like a light gray with some blue undertones so yeah so this is the personal size and basically I decided to put some inserts in here to help me organize the projects that I have going on at work um, so I don't really carry this with me every day it sits on my desk and it helps as like a management center and I'm gonna show you exactly what I have in here. So just to show a bit of this uh, ring organizer in case you don't know the model, it's um, super light I would say and it has the zipper pocket here on the side. I have some sticky notes and some dot stickers that I use. I kind of like that it doesn't have all the pocket thing going on because because this is for work, I don't really have a lot to put in it. I basically need some sticky notes and the stickers that I use in the back. It does has, it does have all the card slots. I just have like an identification card and some sticky notes that I might use. And the pen loop has an elastic, so it's pretty nice depending on the size of the pen that you have. And was also what is very interesting about this model that it offers a back pocket. And I don't think in Filofax you would get a back pocket in the other model, models, at least not the one that I have. So yeah, so this is the what the organizer offers you. So what I have in here, I have different sections. Again, these tabs, I made them myself. They are all uh, white paper that I just laminated and cut with my uh, portrait, the silhouette uh, cutting machine. And in there, I just write what exactly the section is. And I organize it for work. So let me show you what I have. So here, the first section will be the inbox. So what is the inbox? It's just like a quick place to write notes. If I am just like in a call or I just remember something, I just jot down what is there to do. After, I can transfer this to other sections or not, but it's just a space for you to glance uh, what you have for messages or reminders, anything. So basically, I have a laminated dashboard and I just put a post-it note where I can write those notes. I uh, remember to get the stickers from Filofax and it's nice because they will fit uh, exactly in the rings in the binder so it's nice to have it here so I put it here to show it to you so the second tab is for less so basically well I was organizing this planner so I have this actual planner but it's just a place to stock paper like that I could write anything if I'm in a meeting I can write stuff in here and then add to the right section so I thought this was handy and then I have a date section and then in the dates I have monthly views this monthly is a freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. So like this is good. You don't have to pay for it and it's dated. So it's already with all the dates set for this year. And they already have the, the free printables for 2022 if you want. So they are here. And then I also have the weekly. This is also weekly from Peanuts Planner Co. And it's a freebie. And basically, it helps me to organize what has to happen during the week according to the projects. And again... What I'm using for work is just a black pen and some highlighters. I kind of make in a way that what is um, marked in yellow is something that I have to take action on, like it's something I have to do, something I have to prepare, and whatever I highlight in blue is just a note, so just like little notes for me when I'm like flipping back so that I remember. Uh, here on top, so you have the weeks in this little box, and I have I like that you have space for a list or for um, some comments, depending on what what you have to write. Here it's like when I'm preparing for the week at work, I can put here a big to do list. If I know already what things need to happen each day, I would write in here, and then I put like my priorities for the week, and then I know what exactly I have to do so that I uh, complete my priorities. 
So this is what it's about. And I like that I have space for notes as well. But um, I don't really carry this every day with me. If I feel like I absolutely need to have all of that with me, I would carry. But it's a little bigger than what I want to carry. But it helps to organize all the actions for the week, let's say. So then this was the motive for uh, acquiring this or reorganizing the uh, ring organizer for work was to have information about my projects. So basically I have um, one insert from Filofax that you could put to projects and goals. You can write down your ideas, what are the steps and what the team is involved. Like for me, this is important. And you also write what are the material or the resources for the project and some to-dos with due dates. So I feel this is really nice. I will put here some just like tabs that I put the names of each project. Depending on the project, I would have also a checklist like this. I can mark what exactly I am with the steps that I wrote down that are important to be done. And I also got the task management uh, insert. So those two are from Peanuts Blender Co. And I can write exactly what tasks need to be done, what are the specific analysis that I have to do. I mean, this is more related to my work, but let's say um, if you're also managing different projects or if you want to get organized for a test, and then you could just write the different subjects and what are the different like tiny steps for you to accomplish that task. So I really like this one as well. And then I have it for each project. And then I have a um, section for meetings. So this is um, an insert that I got made for me from Simple and Trendy Co. But it could be just um, a page like line, dotted, or even blank just for you to write your notes for meetings. And I kind of like this because we decide a lot what we have to do in meetings. And it's important to keep notes on that so that it don't get lost. And then I just put like a random section for notes, but I haven't used it yet. And I left this one that I had before the set trackers. I'm not tracking anything at work, but I just left it here. So I feel like this is a very nice way to concentrate all the information on different projects. Because sometimes it's hard to fill that information on bookbound planners. So I, I was using a lot the Hobonichi A6 as a bullet journal for my daily to-do list, which is great. But it doesn't really help me with the managing of the projects and uh, all the details or ideas or what needs to be done in the um, in, in in the future. You know, it's more like looking at day to day. But just to show you how I've been tracking the to dos. So here's my Hobonichi weeks, and basically I had this tiny booklet, and then I would just write the to dos in here. Is exactly how I was using my A6. But I had it in here just because I didn't really want to have different planners for like daily to do's. So I had the all the work stuff in here, but it's some days I would just go to the notes pages and do the same. Sometimes I don't use it. Sometimes I do. It doesn't really matter. It's just like daily to do's that I just put the date and I write write all of them in here. And this is how um, I've been using it in the past months and it's been working well. I go more for this one here if I have to plan too much in advance. So let's say it's in the morning still of the day off and I already know detailed things that I need to do for the other day because I don't, I, I'm not using a data daily planner anymore. Then I go here and I put this planning in advance and then the day off, I'll just follow here so that I don't have to skip pages on my notes pages because I don't want to be skipping pages in here. Here I'm all, always writing about the day off and if I feel like I want to write what's going to happen two days in advance or one day or whatever, I, I have this here in any case to spread the pages. So yeah, so this is how work's been doing. I carry this with me every day now and then this sits at home and has a lot of the different projects information. So I hope this would help you get organized on the different projects that you have. And if you have any doubts about any of the planners that I showed, please leave me a message. Bye.